Counselor, since last time I traveled all the way down to the entrance to the King's Hall. Just to save a little bit of time. So let's work our way through here. Let's see if we can find this, uh... Dude, I forget his name now. I mentioned how much I love having a tank companion on this character. Alright, looks like we're just wrapping around to the right there. And there was no bonus. What's this? A lore object? Hello? Lost Commandos. Alright, let's rendezvous with Kotal Day down the elevator that we have to wait for inside an instance, because there's really no purpose in having moving elevators inside instances. All elevators in instances should be the ones where, with the buttons. So you just click and instantly go down. There's no point in any other kind of elevator. Unless you want to make people wait inside an instance. I mean, sure, outside an instance. You might want to have the elevator moving up and down so that people have to go down in packs. But here it just makes you wait unnecessarily, especially if you walk in at the wrong time. There's no enemies. The elevator is right there from the entrance. All it does is make players mad. Oh, this way. I hear fighting. Who knows? All right, I'll save Kim. What did I get? Ooh, a willpower package, yes! Thank you very much. Equip that. Uh, I equipped it on the wrong one. Okay, and... Kim has a willpower one, which can be upgraded. There we go. It'd be nice to have a second strength one, but for now, that'll do. Uh, is it... It is not... Day for that, uh... Get more credits. Here we go. Codal day. Just follow my orders. We'll finish off the Gormak soon enough. The bulk of the Gormak horde are in the passages ahead. They will rush to the defense of their king. You should eliminate Joko's potential reinforcements. Many commandos would die in the cave-in, but so would the Gormak. Let's destroy as many of the Gormak as we can. We will join you again when it is done.
last of the evils. Before my preserves were crushed. Have seen your failure. Being fooled, Did they see you crushed by rocks? You are already dead, Voss. Nightmares are cursed. You outsiders brought curse on me. Things from the Dark Heart never die. I enter the Dark Heart, search for weapon to stop outsiders from helping Voss. Instead, I find nightmares. Outsiders made Dark Heart. Nightmares show me. Corruption comes from outsiders. Your fault. Your fault. I am corrupt. Outsider, I will use a curse to destroy all boss. Corruption will die with me. Alright, let's... Take out the bodyguards. Get some damage over time going on him. Then go help Kim. any of that. Why do you wait, outsider? Strike. Kill me. End curse. Free Gormak from corruption. Nothing you do to me is worse than the cursed outsider. In the dark heart, I find the thing that lives there powerful, more powerful than Gormak or Voss or outsiders. I try to fight it, but I fail. It sends the nightmares to punish me. Gormak do not use corrupt nightmares. Gormak kill corruption. Kill me, outsider. Corruption must die. Finally. Alright, Kim, he's a force user. Go ahead and eat him. Void Kotal Day's death, and your victory to Tell some fall. 
You should report to your people in Boss Ka as well. Go with our gratitude. Alright, getting out of here means heading back to Voska. So let's do it. Wait. If I go to the cantina here, then I'll be able to run over and use all this money I've been getting and get some more schematics and unlock the next tier of synth weaving. I'll talk to Kim when we're on our ship going to the next planet. I don't think he has any uh, conversation, any uh, missions that lead him here to Voss. Alright, event synth weaving? Check. Now we keep getting these expensive ones. Ugh, eating a hole in my wallet. Yeah, more than half my money's gone now. Holy cow. Holy smack. Don't have enough for all those. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Let's stop right there then. I'll just take my next chunk of money and buy some more things. Holy dang. Alright, so I bought all the heavy armor ones. And difficulty's up. But everything is yellow. Probably because I'm 400. I have to get up to like 405 or 410 before I start getting the next level of things. And yeah, all these take... Primeval and Upari, which will come later. Okay. I will get more with more money. Might take me a while to get all those schematics. Dang. And this is not unique to synth weaving. Like, all crafting skills have a ton of stuff to buy at level 50. level 400 excuse me but I did buy the unlock so now if I happen to need some of those I can craft them and it'll take me up above 400 on my way to 450 so that's good alrighty embassy hello Darth Severin Sir Revin of your victory preceded you the entire city is talking of it the boss are doubly impressed that you destroyed the ship and killed this Gormak king. The fools are entirely convinced you are the agent of their prophecy. Well done indeed. So now we wait for the boss to agree to join the Empire. Our victory is almost at hand. Samaro has already asked for an audience with you. The gentleman you wish to speak with has returned, Emissary. The Gormak ship has been destroyed. They shall not reach the stars. You are the one from the vision. The three have heard the report of your battle with Choco. They are troubled. Gormak are not mystics. They have no visions. This is the new wisdom the prophecy foretold. It lies in the dark heart. You expect me to find out what gave him his power? It is dangerous, but the mystics have spoken. The Dark Heart is an evil place deep within the Nightmare Lands. We are forbidden to go there. We do not know what it holds. You must return to us with this knowledge. I'll search the Dark Heart for answers. You have our gratitude. Well done. One final move, and Voss will be ours. It won't be simple. Even the most powerful Sith have not made it far into the Dark Heart. I'm sure there's nothing to be concerned about. The power of the Dark Side is overwhelming there. Strong enough that it drives even Sith mad. 
Dark Lord Murbeck Gern dwells on the edge of the Dark Heart, studying its power. He alone has managed to withstand the madness. Seek him in the Nightmare Lands. He must know a way for you to defend yourself from the Dark Power. Alright, and I get 3,000 credits. It's not a lot, considering. Hey, look. This one will replace my other thing. And what I took out will replace Kim's thing. Hooray. Yeah, I'm saving them because I can, like, probably throw them on other characters, my ship droid, you know, whatever. Because if nothing else, they'll get the endurance boost. And then that secondary stat may or may not be useful, such as power. That'll help if... I randomly need my ship droid. Who knows with the Fallen Empire chapters coming out soon? Who knows what companions will happen? So, gotta keep everything prepared. It's been a while since I've gained a level. That's because I've been over leveled. I'm finally getting about back to the right level, yeah. This next area is all level 47 quests. And I'm level 47. So, that will work out nicely. It's finally caught up with me. Could use another bounty event or something. Currently, if you guys are unaware, you're watching me on Twitch right now. Hi, Twitch guys. Um, yeah. Okay, they're done talking. Um, currently, the Gree event is going on, but I believe you have to be level 50 for the bolster to even start taking effect in you, so I'm leaving well enough alone. <sighs> Excuse me. And I'm not going to run the Gree event this time. It usually comes back about twice a year. Oh, by the way, there's a Datacron up there somewhere. And we're skipping it for now. So it's back here. We're skipping it for now. I will get it later. Because that's a heroic four area for a heroic four quest that the Republic gets. So I can't even, you know, spam it on general chat and say, hey, I'm doing this quest. Who wants to do it with me and get the Datacron? I'm going to say, hey, I'm going for this Datacron. Who wants to come with me? And the, nobody wants to do that. You just come back later when you're higher level. Alright, lots of bonus missions, side missions to pick up here. So I'll just start down here and we'll work our way around. Oh, out of range. Mm, please help me. My master sent me into the Nightmare Lands to bring back these artifacts the Craze Gordmack are collecting. The corruption of this place is too strong. It makes the Gormax stronger somehow. But I can't fail. I won't fail. I guess it's a bad time to be you. My master hates me. He expects me to die here. He's right. I probably will, but not before he gets his precious artifacts. Please get the artifacts from the Grey's Gormac and deliver them to my master. And tell him. Tell him I died bravely. My sincerest apologies. Don't worry about me. Just bring the artifacts to Lord Korik at the Imperial Outpost. Alright. So that one is gather some artifacts. I believe this will be, yeah, the heroic mission. Do I have all the heroic missions so far? I think so. Uh, I'll consider that part of the dailies later. But Project Chimera, I can get. I'm gonna dump that one in the weekly. Yeah. I don't need them. I'm not planning on running them. So don't worry about it. Alright, now this triangle is grayed out because they're actually inside here. And the map changes. So there we go. Ma'am, stop chewing on... Do I need to get out the penalty card? What's wrong with them? Them here wandered too far into the nightmare lands, went completely mad. Ooh. 
now he's helping me perfect my new vaccine. A remarkable specimen, tedious company. I sense much corruption in him. He's deteriorated far beyond any hope of recovery. Still, he's been a model test subject. Clinical trials of the vaccine have been promising. My serum repels the Nightmare Line's degenerative effects and boosts pain tolerance. All my formula requires is the catalyst, sap from a very special tree in the Nightmare Lands. Unfortunately, the sap is a delicacy of the local raid. Something to wash down all those troops they've been snacking on. I take it the raid don't want anyone stealing the dessert. The two expeditions I sent ended, violently judging by the screaming con babble. My vaccine will allow us to one-up the Republic and establish a solid foothold in the Nightmare Lands. Surely you have nothing to fear from the Nightmare Lands, my lord? If you can get that sap, you're welcome to a complimentary dose of my serum. I'd say we've come to an agreement. One more thing. Constant exposure to the corrupted sap has changed the raid. Mutated them into something worse. They're a constant threat to our operations. If you were to thin their numbers, I'm sure you'd be compensated. All right, and one more at the top of this hill. That's where the class quest is. Seraphin thinks he's so clever pretending to be interested in the secrets of the Dark Heart. He doesn't appreciate the genius of my work, how intricate the Dark Powers are. I do the important work on Voss. Who in the Emperor's name are you? I'm here on Imperial business. I need to enter the Dark Heart. Sith, they think they know power. But you cannot understand what true power is until you've been to the Dark Heart. You should not be here. The dark power in this place will shatter your mind into a thousand pieces. It takes hours of meditation every day for me to keep my mind intact. I need to go in there and come out sane. What for? Are you trying to take over my research? I will harness the power here, and with it I will bring the galaxy to its knees for the Emperor. Then I shall. Who are you? What do you want? Tell me how to endure the power here. I pulled this shard from the belly of the Dark Heart. Madness calls to it. There are two ways to defend your mind. Carry it with you while you carve a path of destruction through the denizens of the Nightmare Lands. I won't go on a fool's errand. No, no, that's not the plan. That's just the first step. The hatred and agony of your victims will charge the Shard. Then you must channel the Shard's power into a Varanticus. The Varanticus will become an embodiment of madness. Killing it will grant you mastery over that aspect of the Dark Power. What's the second method? There are shrines in the Nightmare Lands. Jedi in origin. There you could draw out and destroy the madness within the Shard. Not as elegant a solution, but it should work. So, will you slaughter beasts or seek the shrines? Murder and mayhem await. Very good. Yes, you will make an excellent specimen for my research. Return to me when you're finished. I will make sure the protective ritual is complete. All right, I've got a few minutes left. Let's see if there's any missions I could start. Just have to get eight artifacts there. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so this is Veranticus. The big beast, they actually pack quite a wallop. 
especially if you're at level like I am, so be careful. This may look blue and clickable, but this is a return for uh, one of the quests. Okay, just unlocking some map up here. Okay. Let's try heading south. Oh, I can defeat these Chris Fangs. supposed to defeat the Varantikai and eventually locate a survey station which is all the way over there okay so I do want to kill all the little beasts on my way over here just to get this bonus because I could use an extra level to keep ahead of the level curve. I'm supposed to use the shard on a Varanticus that's over in that direction. Okay, but the Varantica over here still count for the bonus, so... There we go. Holy cow, you see how much of a wall up those things pack? things hurt. Alright, and you can start getting artifacts by killing the silvers out here. Or there's uh, clickable items on the floor inside that cave. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to handle all that next time. Uh, thanks for watching me, and I'll see you all next time where we'll grab a bunch of these and then artifacts, turn them in, and then battle a lot more Varantikai and Chris Fang. Let's see what's going on with that survey station. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.